With its recent update, GoodNotes received a new collaboration feature. In this video, you will learn why you shouldn't use it to work on one document with anybody else than yourself. However, be sure to watch this video until the end because I will show you why this new feature is still great to upgrade your own personal knowledge management system. I know many of you were waiting for this collaboration feature in GoodNotes, right? Right? Well, I'm not that sure. Let me know in the comments below if this is actually something you were eagerly waiting for or if it is something you never cared about at all. I think GoodNotes is still a single player game. Collaboration in Notes is available in Apple Notes for a long time already and to actually work together doing brainstorming, sprints or professional concept work, I would always recommend something like Miro, which has a lot more to offer for creative work in teams than GoodNotes ever could. To me, GoodNotes is like Notability and NoteShelf, simply a replacement for paper notebooks. It allows me to take personal notes, use digital journals to write my daily notes, and all of this is great if you like to be as close to a paper-based notebook feeling that you had before, with the addition that those notes become searchable. That's really the, the, the big advantage you have in those apps. But using a paper notebook, I would never let others write into it, right? I mean, do collaboration work. Even if so, then I would need to hand over my notebook to my colleagues for them to write into it. This would be asynchronous updates. Well, the new feature in GoodNotes seems to mimic this experience as the collaboration isn't happening in real time. There will regularly be a delay of 15 to 30 seconds before changes appear for all users. As such, GoodNotes collaboration doesn't serve as a replacement for a digital whiteboard, but rather it's better suited for situations where changes are made over an extended period of time. However, I never know if somebody else is working on the document right now, so I, I can't see that. The only advantage I see is that GoodNotes puts away the need to forward notebook files and then re-import it in order to work together on something. But then again, if you want to do something like this, why would you use good notes in the first place? Okay, to me this seems how this feature is implemented is pretty useless. However, if you have any use case you want to share with us, let us know in the comments below. I'm eager to learn more about it. Okay, Tom. But now let us know what the actual advantage of this new feature is. Well, if you are one of my Inner Circle members, then you know that note-taking is just the input phase in which we collect data. A whole other game is the part when it comes to knowledge management. To organize the information in a way so we will find it in the moment we need it later. So far, none of the common iPad note-taking apps such as Notability, GoodNotes or NoteShelf are great when it comes to actual managing the knowledge you collect in there. Yes, we have the search function and yes, we can add bookmarks or even tags if you use NoteShelf. But the restriction is still that you are working in a pretty closed system. Let me explain. If you take notes in Evernote, Notion, Rome Research or Miro, you can access your notes from any device by simply opening a web browser and entering the URL of this note. In Miro it is even better, you can copy the links of individual elements. This means if you open that link, it will zoom into this element. So sharing those links with your colleagues, you can point them even directly to something on that board. In addition, you can use links to add them to other nodes to create references. This isn't possible in Notability or NodeShelf, but with the new collaboration feature, GoodNotes makes it available. So you can use links for your notes and add them, for example, to Notion. Once you open this link inside Notion, it will open up GoodNotes and its related node. It is something that makes good notes better than other handwriting note-taking apps right now. However, as you still are not able to add hyperlinks inside good notes notebooks, you can't cross-link between your own notebooks or even pages. Using digital journals, such the one I offer on my website and import it into good notes shows already how great it could be if you can cross-link between pages. By importing my journal, you have predefined links in it that connects the daily pages with the monthly and weekly pages, for example. This allows you for easy navigation within the digital journal that has more than 400 pages. However, as those are static links, you cannot change them. Just imagine how great it would be if you could create your own links inside GoodNotes, NodeShelf or Notability to connect pages. One simple use case would be that you can simply create 
your own content table in the first page with links to certain important pages in your notebook. So I think you can see now why I'm pretty underwhelmed by this new update of GoodNotes and the collaboration feature and what in my opinion handwriting note-taking apps should provide in order to make them truly useful as not only an input tool but also for proper knowledge management purposes. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel so I can catch you up 